Donald Trump attempted a coup and he made it obvious. The pattern began when he lost an Emmy in 2012 and claimed the Emmys were rigged. When Trump University lost in court, the courts were all rigged. When he lost the Iowa caucus, the Republican primaries in 2016, he claimed there was fraud. This repeated pattern of not being able to take a loss culminated into the big lie. The lie of widespread election fraud that Trump began spreading months before the election even took place. He undermined mail-in ballots knowing they take longer to count so he could take the podium on election night and declare victory when only a fraction of the votes had been counted. He perfectly primed his followers to be outraged when he lost the election and the following court case. Trump's closest allies began telling him there was no election fraud. A group of top DOJ officials sat him down in the Oval Office and threatened to resign on On January 2nd, Trump called top swing state officials and pressured them to find votes. Look, all I want to do is this. I just want to find 11,780 votes. And when they denied, he gave up, right? Trump doubled down by scheduling a rally walking distance from the Capitol on the day they were certifying the election. He results. pressured Mike Pence into following John Eastman's unconstitutional legal theory, saying Pence could throw out Joe Biden's win. On January 6th, Trump tells his supporters, our country is being stolen, and Mike Pence is our last stand. His supporters marched to the Capitol building from his rally and delayed the peaceful transfer of power for the first time in American history. Far-right groups organized, and chants of hang Mike Pence echoed through the halls of Congress. Joseph R. Biden. Junior. The fate of our democracy lied in the hands of only a few people. Has received 306 votes. votes.